And if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know I love little houses as well. But I got this little wooden house. It was 99 cents. It has a little hook on the back to hang it up on the wall. And it had these little Easter springtime figures. There's a little lamb right there and a little bear in a bunny outfit. I don't know what they were thinking. Hey guys, it's Lindsay from Domer Home and I just gave you a little clip of my most recent thrift haul so if you guys missed that I will have that linked in the video and down in the description box if you wanted to check out all the awesome finds that I got. And today I'm going to be doing a quick DIY to this little wooden house and this video is in collaboration with Ashley Lauren and I will link her channel above and below for you guys to check out along with her video but she does tons of really gorgeous furniture flips and she does a lot of budget DIYs so as you can see I gave it a really good clean I wiped it down with some all-purpose spray and I peeled off all of the hot glue dots that were stuck all over the place and then I gave it a coat of really cheap white chalk paint from Michaels. So I picked up these moss sheets from the Dollar Tree a while ago. I stocked up and I'm just kind of eyeballing it and holding it up to kind of get the measurements correct. But I'm just cutting out shapes to go into the little cubbies of the house as kind of a background. Once I had all of my shapes measured and put into place, I carefully lifted them out and hot glued them in. For the last step, I just took some Mod Podge and I generously applied it onto the moss, kind of pressing my brush in to let it soak in. And this really helps the moss to not be disintegrating all over the place and making a constant mess. It kind of glues it in place. So I have done this technique before and I did this for the foundation of my DIY cottage dollhouse. And I will link that video and that playlist down below for you guys if you are interested in checking that out. So when I saw this little house, I thought it was going to be absolutely perfect to showcase my grandmother's salt and pepper shakers. And she told me she got these individual salt and pepper shakers as a wedding gift. So these salt and pepper shakers are real silver. And yes, I know they are tarnished, but that is because one, I do not like to polish silver all the time. It is a lot to maintain. And two, I kind of like the tarnished look. I think it looks very romantic and vintage. So I am so pleased that I have an actual spot to display my grandmother's salt and pepper shakers. And if you enjoyed this quick and simple DIY as much as I did, please give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you head on over to Ashley's channel to check out her video as well. 
And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, I would be so honored if you would hit that red subscribe button for some more DIY and home videos. And I will see you guys on Saturday in the next video. Bye! Thank you.